here. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to clap. That's fine. Uh, we are Shop in the Dark. Uh, this is a special alumni show. We actually have premium Shots in the Dark members here. Myself, Brian, Peter, Bobby, and Xavier. We've all graduated Gettysburg, but we're coming back to do sweet, sweet improv for you. So let's give it up for that. <laughs> Improvisation for you. How many people have seen improvisation before? Great. Okay, that's a pretty good amount of people. Basically, what that entails is you're going to be seeing scenes on this stage um, that you'll never, you've never seen before, and you'll never see again. We're going to be doing two forms of improvisation for you tonight: a long form and a short form, full of fun, kooky, crazy games that you've probably seen on Whose Line Is It Anyway? Xavier's Wayne Brady. Okay, so. Yeah, I can say that now because I live in Brooklyn. It's fine. Okay. So, um, so the first game we're gonna do a long form game, and what I need for this game, I need one person to tell me a little bit about their day. I need someone, a volunteer, to raise your hand, and I'm just gonna ask you some questions about your day. It's not gonna be embarrassing. You might want be it to be, but I just want to. Anybody? Does anybody? Does nobody want to participate in this? Can I want to talk to you about my day? Come on, Rose. Get up. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Rose. That's enough. And All right. he was my RA my freshman year. Yeah, this is Rose. This is my first time. Hello, how are you? What the best? Rose was my, uh, one of my residents, one of the good ones. Um, hey, and, uh, I have a Oh, she was a bad resident then. She was a bad student. So um, basically, um, Rose, if, uh, if, if you would like, I'd like to ask you just a few questions about your day. Is okay. That, okay. All right, so can you walk me through a typical day for Rose, a school day for Rose at uh, Gettysburg College? Well, today wasn't a school day. Well, not, t not this day, any day. Any it could be a hypothetical okay. day. So, well, this past week, most of my school days started when I got home at four in the morning. You got home, why did you get home so late? Well, because it's my senior year, so I was hanging out with people. Okay, so, <laughs> so your senior year is when you hang yeah. out to people till unreasonable times right. in the morning. You told me that. Okay, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, so you hang out till four in the morning. So I get just, home at four. And what do you do? Just like hang out? You talk about stuff? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not your RA right anymore, so you can tell just me what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm 21. So right. We, we drink. You drink. Okay. okay. Like pitchers Tuesdays? Yeah. I know what that yeah. is. Sure. Okay, cool. Okay, so you drink, <laughs> so you drink um, and you, you party, you do your thing till four in the morning. Okay, so you get to bed at four. What time do you have to wake up? Um, I don't know, my first class is at 11, so I wake up at like 9.30. Okay, so you get a decent, what, you know, five, five yeah. and a half hours yeah. of sleep. Um, and you've already started this, um, and you've only been in college for a month for this semester, correct? Yes. So you've already started this great tradition of getting... Well, this started this week. Okay, great, so you're on this. So uh, you get up for uh, 11, your 11 o'clock class, what's your class? Uh, creative writing. Oh, boy. Yeah, what is, uh, great. What are, you, what are you writing right now? Um, well, we have to write, we just wrote dramatic monologues, and now we're writing creative nonfiction. How hard was it for you not to laugh at other people's dramatic monologues? <laughs> we haven't gotten them yet, actually. You haven't? We just went over the first drafts of creative nonfiction, and we got, like, a bunch of sorority drunken stories, okay. and I made me miss you, actually. That's and okay. Because he was in a sorority. I was, I was in a sorority, but... <laughs> um, so I can't. Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, you, so you write dramatic monologues. So you, write, you write these dramatic monologues. Um, and what's after creative writing? Uh, lunch. 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 And is lunch a real? So it's it's not part of your schedule. You just go to lunch. I usually go to lunch. Yeah. Do you eat at Servo still? No. There are too eat? many freshmen. There's too many freshmen yeah. at Servo. No, no, there are too there? many freshmen. Servo is always packed because you have everyone and overflow of freshmen. There's an overflow? Did they open up that special area of no, seating? No, it's still that, a specialty. It's still a specialty yeah. area. So, so the freshmen have basically kind of taken over Servo. Yeah. Okay. And um, so where do you go to eat? Uh, bullet or you ice. Go, bullet or ice. Yeah. Ice is, what do they serve now? Salad. It's a salad bar. It's a salad bar? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> pizza is downstairs in bullet. So, okay. Ice was pizza. It was Mexican. It was Chinese? Sushi. It was sushi. Sushi's and that, still there. And now it's a salad bar. Yeah. <laughs> really getting the whole gamut of really shitty college kids. <laughs> okay, so you eat lunch. What's after lunch? Um, I have other classes. Other classes. Yeah, Any have, notable ones that you already history, think you'll really like or History hate? of U.S. Middle East policy. History of U.S. military policies. Yeah. What's the one thing that you learned in there that you were a little bit surprised about? Um, well, 
It's okay. You can show people you're ignorant. A lot of people are ignorant about the Middle East. Well, I was there, though. You were in the Middle East. Right. When were you in the Middle East? My junior year, I studied abroad. Okay. You're talking to me like I should know that. (laughs) (laughs) You you were my own. So you were in the the Middle East your junior year? Yeah. Where where in the Middle East? Jordan. I studied in Amman. Was it, uh, how was it? Was it exciting? It was awesome. Yeah. 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 Do you sometimes compare things you do here at Gettysburg to being in the Middle East? <laughs> Often. You, you know, when I put on my burqa for my 11 a.m., I'm like, oh, Did you have to wear a burqa? I remember what it was like to be a burqa. Did you have to wear a burqa? <laughs> no, we okay. don't. Don't, don't fuck around. <laughs> I, I, I just want to get truth with this from you. Okay, so you go to Middle East class about, and you learn about stuff you already know about because you were there for four months. Right. So yeah. Um, and then what's after that class? Homework in the lab? So, yeah. so you just... They redid the basement, so it's nice now. What, how, how did they redo the basement? They, like, moved the computers around and there are tables and nooks in the basement. There are nice. nooks now? Yeah. So uh, is, it, is it one of those situations where it's hard to get a nook? You have to, like, camp yeah. out for it's, a nook? Talk to Josh about it. It's a big deal. Talk to Josh. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so you got nooks in the basement, so you just study, and then what do you do with the nightlife? You got, you got to go get dinner, right? Right. Well, yeah. You go to Servo for that, or is it still too packed? Uh, it depends. If Servo has something good, like salmon, salmon nights, we go to Servo. Salmon nights are yeah. really good. Yeah. What are the other good nights of Servo food? <laughs> That's okay. I mean, oh, Sunday nights. Sunday nights. <laughs> what? 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 So you eat dinner at um, Servo or Bola Bola, whatever, and then what do you do? And then this is when you start your party. No, 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 no. I have clubs. You have clubs. What kind of clubs? Yeah. Well, I'm a student senator now. Student senator. And my student senators in here. Yeah. Raise your hand. <laughs> yeah. There's one. Two. Two. There's, There's two. Senator. That's that's really funny. All right. I got appointed. I didn't. You got appointed. Congratulations. So student senate still really important as it was when I was here. Great. And then after student senate, what other club is there? Monday nights, that's, that's it. That's it, and you go on the party? No, then I go do more work. It's really boring. No. Yeah. Um, so, really thank boring. you very much, Rose, for your day. So ready. Okay, so this is the plan. Cindy, listen. We're 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 young. We went through what seemed to be two months worth of orientation. We had to meet people that we didn't want to meet. So we're gonna take over this fucking school. We got. I'm your mom. I'm your roommate. Oh God. Nice to meet you. Okay, so my weird roommate's gonna be here sometime. You mean Bali? Yeah. Don't 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 mention her. Okay, so we have to figure out a plan to infiltrate not only Servo, but I'm talking Glattfelter Lodge, I'm talking about those new trailers that they got for so many <laughs> all of this stuff. How are we gonna do it? Because we're freshmen, we don't know shit, and that's true. We don't know shit! <laughs> but, we think we know. but we think we know, because we were in high school. Yeah, you don't have to raise your hand. Where are they? Uh, 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 <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah. Lanyards. Ooh! <laughs> Identify us. Yes, I like it. 
So we'll go in with our lanyards, and we'll look really cool with them, because they're lanyards, and we'll take over each department uh, one by one. one. And it's okay that we don't know what we want to do. <laughs> Hello, uh, welcome to Middle East 105. My name is Wait, what's the Middle East, though? <laughs> Rose, Shut that's up. a great question. <laughs> so, great the Middle East, this is the Middle East. The entire world is the Middle East. <laughs> that that one is the Middle East. Uh, I told you, don't ask questions. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rose two, you need to stop <laughs> doing that to rose number one, okay? So as the whole world is the Middle East, okay? We have East America and Southeast America. <laughs> is, is, is Southeast America, that's an Arabic term, right? Right. What does that mean in English? What does Southeast America mean in English? Yeah. It just means capitalism. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, on this side we have East, Middle East of America, yeah. and then the bottom is Middle East of Australia, South America. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Qu Rose number two. Is any of this on the final? All of it's on the final. Cut to the final! <laughs> <laughs> what? No cheating. There will be no cheating. Honor Rose code? number one. Uh, you use the term world here. What does that even... <laughs> I don't... What? We're going to open this in class. It's all on the final. I have, I have a question. Rose number five. Why does rose number four get to have a chair? And we have to see. <laughs> okay, listen to me. Okay, listen to me. Rose number four deserved it. He, she went to the Middle East. Okay. <laughs> she went there. I got a burger. I can't stand with a burger. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm you know that. Okay. I ran out of purple question. crayons. Deal with it. <laughs> Do, we need, to, do yes. we need to write the honor code or can we just put HC? You can just do whatever the hell you want. Okay. I'm gonna need like nine more blue books. You can do whatever you want. You've been to the Middle East. You can do whatever you want. Goddamn right! <laughs> just keep your head down. We're going through surf. All right. <laughs> keep your head down. Okay. Okay. Don't want to All right, now. Them. Hey, don't. Cindy. <laughs> Did you know that uh, you can just go to the bathroom without having to ask? <laughs> Now, you're in Spurgo? Not No, in college. In college. We're freshmen in college, and I'm telling you the differences between being... You don't have to raise your hand! What do you mean by college? Co co what do you, it's college! We're in, like, uh, we're in higher education! Yeah. And George, uh, George, this is freshmen eating in the middle of the walkway. <laughs> <laughs> that provokes them. They, they have lanyards. This walkway is ours. If we let anyone get this walkway, we're in the red zone. Right. Yeah. Right. I have a plan. I have a plan. Get the servo cookies. Just go. Get the servo cookies. Bring them back. All right, now. Oh, wait. Take no, that. Those are the raisins. Those are the angry. So you want to sit in the nook? <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, I, 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 I know I'm a little bit late uh, for the, the Nook party, but I, I would love to sit in Nook. I have a big history final tomorrow. All right, all right. And uh, you want a list? Oh, uh, I, I wasn't aware that there's a list. Um, yeah, I, you gotta know someone inside with the Nooks. <laughs> I have someone inside the Nook? Yeah, what's, is that a lanyard? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> It helps me remember where my keys uh -huh, are, yeah. and it identifies right. me immediately. Is that uh, a high school posse sweatshirt there? Yeah, I was, uh -huh. um, I was uh, the uh, server and um, <laughs> in my high school volleyball team. Really? Yeah, Shawnee. No freaking way, me too! Oh, cool, so can I get into the nook there? Fuck no! Okay. <laughs> So, is there? What, what do I have to do? Do I, do I have to, um, you know, know somebody in the nook or maybe? Hey, Jason, you mind if I join the nook? Yeah, 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 yeah. All that's right. cool. Actually, you know what? You do me a favor. Yeah. Deal with this guy. I got some. I got. I have to go. I don't. I, yeah. Is that a lame? <laughs> well, first of all, that was a really lame excuse to stop talking to me. <laughs> he just said, I, uh, I, uh, and then he left. <laughs> Second of all, wh why does everybody get to go to the nook? Hey, Peter, do you mind? Like, no, go ahead. No. <laughs> How many people can fit into the nook? It's a very spacious Three in a potty wheel. <laughs> Three in a potty wheel? Are you in creative potter? Oh, uh, I mean, I, this is a, for a history. I could be if it gets me into the nook. Now, now that, what the? Next up. It's messed up. Are you challenging me in my nook? Okay. 
Cut to the challenge. <laughs> and then this one, uh, weighing uh, comfortable 35 pounds. <laughs> 36 from whatever. <laughs> the Nook Master. And then this corner, weighing 36 pounds. <laughs> it's world number five. Let the battle begin. Let the battle begin. Yoga Lotties. <laughs> wow, this extremely skinny, emaciated battle is very interesting. Try my downward facing dog! Exponentially much worse. Okay. <laughs> All right. Face. In the face. In, the, in, the, in the, the, the general face. What's the, in the face? The f I'd say like facial. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh. So it's great. Is that a facial? Has it grown? What? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, come on. Yeah, go for it. That would be okay. Right. If I get a crease. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're here, freshmen in your Middle Eastern Studies History class. That's awesome. And uh, why is this the TA? What's that mean? What of it? Are you there? Um, yeah. the freshman yeah. militia doesn't like the way you've been failing all the freshmen. Yeah, we don't like the way you've been failing on the freshmen and and getting double the tenure because you're signing the tenure. Ignorance might be bliss, but it's certainly not going to get you anywhere in life. <laughs> yeah, well, he said it twice. <laughs> Do you enjoy listening to Bo Bice? I guess. I don't, I'm, I'm a freshman, so I probably don't understand that reference. <laughs> I'm young and stupid and naive. <laughs> That's actually very fair. That's I why, we, that's that why we're well. failing you. You have to understand. <laughs> this is a teachable moment. Oh, so you're teaching me that I... Well, you haven't taught any Middle Eastern stuff yet. I thought this was... So you want tenure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's too much to ask? We've been working really hard together. Yeah, yeah. We're a team. Yeah. And you want us to pay you twice? <laughs> well... That's just bonkers. I can give you a better tenure over here. <laughs> Sandy Morgan Riggs! <laughs> So you've come to, you've broken into my house, yes. and you want tenure. We can't fit through the door, we break into houses. So. Uh, Alright, uh, I gotta get my boxing gloves on for this. That's fine. Uh, President right. Riggs, it's okay if we just film this um, kind of stupid uh, movie in your house, right? Yeah, totally. What's up? What's up? Shoot a basketball. Yeah, don't worry about it. Insensitive. We'll leave your house. This is why I was voted president. I feel very <laughs> oh man, I hope we get into this frat. Oh, oh boy, dude. Oh, sorry, no, we got, no, we got this. We got this. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. We got another pair of Siamese in there. What? what? You How is that, that they possible? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we do downward facing dog and the sunrise surprise. Whoa! Sorry, sorry, sorry. What the hell was that? That was Bill and Ted. 
The fuck? <laughs> I don't like No, that. we're the only Siamese people around these parts. Bring Bill and Ted back. Where the hell are they? Yes, no. <laughs> so do you like Bill or Ted? <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to shoot. I know it's really hard. But you have to shoot for it. Uh, it's crazy mixed up world. I'm really more of a Ted girl. Uh, <laughs> she's in my creative... Hey, yo, excuse me. He. <laughs> they. Let's be honest. Are it. Fresh <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was the long form portion of our show. Now we're going to do some short form games. The first one being Evil Twin. So I need George, MJ, and Bobby to please come on stage. So. Uh, you, you'd be innocent? Yes, I'll be straight. <laughs> so Bobby is the innocent bystander. MJ is a, a normal guy, but he has a dirty little secret. He has a twin. An evil <laughs> twin. So, what we need is a non-familial relationship between these two. Cookie and Baker. Valley Parker Keep and Driver. Keep them coming. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Moose and Hunter. You guys are going to be an actor and a director. Lights up. Alright. I see you're learning your lines. Yes, I like I, that. There's, like, why did you put them on a piece of toilet paper? We're very avant-garde in this film. Oh, okay. I don't understand things like, you know, new age we stuff. We only so hired you, you tell for me. the visual, don't sh- I am offended because you can't read and we gave you a contract that means you get no money. <laughs> but you get part of the merchandising, like George Lucas and the Star Wars. Ooh, thing. do I get my own doll? We'll work on it. So, all right. Now, this scene is very important. Okay. You are you are a man lost in a sea of people like you, but not it, you. Not me. Not you. Is it an actual sea full uh, of people? A, a sea of people with baseball bats. <laughs> and they okay. All and they, they hate me. Yeah, and we couldn't afford a stuntman. So. <laughs> What's my motivation? It's gonna be real realistic. You have to do all your own stunts, and we. I'm need all. You. I'm good for that. Ready for this? Yes. All right, now you're gonna stand here. Okay. Now you just lost your wife. Now your fictional wife. This is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and uh, your real life. You'll, you'll get her back if you do the scene right. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Knight, and then he got an award. It wasn't oh, an Emmy, I, the other one. Oh, I heard about that. All right, so, all right. So I'm gonna do this, and okay. it's a camera. Yes, I see. I see that. Okay. Ready and action. Heather. <laughs> Heather, where did I you go? In the baseball bat. Ah! <laughs> it's harder. Ah! It Alright, now, look, that was great. Yes. That, I felt the emotion. But it could be better. Uh, let's do it again from the baseball bat. <laughs> no! no! I paid my electric bill! That second take was better than the first. I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> See, I love your acting. I, I, I can so change like this, I'm a chameleon. Alright, alright, next scene. Just found your wife, your fictional wife. Okay. Uh, and your real wife. Yes, who was she? Uh, she is in that uh, frozen room, and she's really cold, so you better hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're running out of film. we got to do it quick. Let's keep going. Hello! I got you! My wife is not a doll. <laughs> but you thought she was. I did! Doll. That was fantastic! That was so good! You got me. Man, the Oscars are coming. Okay. Um, <laughs> you married a doll, you know that. <laughs> yeah, she's not alive. Yeah. Um, you see, way back when, I tricked you into marrying a doll, and you didn't even know it. Dr. Stevenson, that was you the whole time? <laughs> We've been filming.
film your life? It's been like the Truman Show for a while. Is this a camera? And that's a camera, that's a camera, your wife, the doll, is a camera. Is this a camera? That's not a camera, stop, please. Please, that's not a camera, stop. Objects are bigger than they appear. <laughs> Right, I'm, so, I'm trying to get the audience. This is the one. end scene, the most important scene. Part of your untimely death is the most important scene, um, and it will be by regular bats. Born for you alive. Okay. All right. It's a prequel to Batman. All right. Okay. <laughs> ready? Are you ready for this? Yes. All right. You 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 good? Because we only get one shot at this. And then the bats. <laughs> Gentlemen, we all have big questions that we cannot answer by logical means, but thank goodness we have fortune tellers. And in fact, that's our next game. Oh my god! So, I need Taylor, Simba, MJ, and Xavier. Speaking of occult means, Simba will be our fortune teller for the evening, and he must leave. <laughs> what we do have, uh, how is the... Uh, bring, bring that one over here? So Taylor has some questions about her life that only our fortune teller will be able to answer. And thank goodness that he has his spirits to help him answer those questions. The first one being, I need your help for this one. What is Taylor going to be when she grows up? A drunk. A moose! <laughs> Keep coming. Driver. Taxi, cab. Taxi cab driver. And love is in the air. Who is Taylor going to marry? Oh oh my Just because this is what happens to us, how is she going to die? Get my moose! <laughs>
You're gonna be a taxi driver. <laughs> Nasty. Hey, 
coming? Freshly. Surreptitiously. Surreptitiously. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like uh, and finally, I need a, uh, you know, hmm, let's get a, uh, an emotion. Emotion. Pain. Anger. Rotate right. What are you? Jungle. Jungle. Rotate right. Mount. Rotate right. <laughs> Surreptitiously. <laughs> Rotate right. <laughs> Angst. Angst. Rotate right. The jungle. Rotate left. <laughs> Angst. Rotate left. Surreptitiously. Lights up. Um, so yeah, this is my new invention. It's deliciously syrup, or surreptitiously. <laughs> you think it's a good word? It doesn't exist otherwise than that, right? right? Dr. Jones, I have no idea. I'm fresh out of law school. Okay. I'm at this candy factory. Yes, and welcome to my candy syrup factory. I know. Right, right. Look, Bella, I'm a vampire, and you're not a vampire, but I'm in love with you, and I'm in love with you. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep, and if you just watch outside my window for a while, yeah. Yeah. This, the plot will advance. Yeah. <laughs> right. It is like a jungle in here. Yeah, it's horrible. There's so many bugs and, and frogs. Fucking servo, man. <laughs> Jesus. There's people everywhere. Where does freshmen come from? I don't know, but there's so many of them. Rotate right. right. Uh, so the um, therapist said uh, you should mount me. So. <laughs> Are you sure that was what she said? Because I didn't think that that was what she said. <laughs> Honey, if we want to make this marriage work, could you please mount me? <laughs> um, I, I know Just that. Mount me. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we should talk this through rationally. Honey, I don't understand what the problem is. You're going to get on my back like I'm a horse, and I'm going to take you around in a kind of a rodeo thing. Help <laughs> me. Rotate right. Dr. Jones, I have my first project. It's syruptastic. Oh, that's, that tastes surreptitious. It's all right. <laughs> okay, I, I know that. Come on, honey. Try whatever she suggested. Okay, but I don't think you should be using that tone with me. That's exactly what you talked about before. <laughs> left. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dying. I'm dying of dehydration. What do I do? I, I mean, I I would say go to the, the pop fountain, but you know, it's completely surrounded by people. I'm so. about to throw up everywhere. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's not really going to help you. you. Okay, well. Huh. It's happening. I would say Is there any emotion? I mean, there's not going to help you. Okay. Okay. I'm um, really sorry. Oh. You're such a sweet girl, but I'm just so sorry. <laughs> I had this baby, but I didn't read the book, so I don't know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. Rotate left. Did I pass? Uh, I'm gonna be straight with you. My surreptitiously idea didn't really land well with my uh, with, with the, the consumer, so we're gonna have to shut down the factory. Chance time. <laughs> I'm, do you need a towel or something? I'm really sorry. I just, I just need somebody to mount me. <laughs> I swear if you throw up on me one more time, I will throw you to that mob of freshmen. <laughs> do horses even throw up? Can they throw up? Right. 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 Supervisor is that we have to get something to market as soon as possible. <laughs> and if it's not freaking surreptitious <laughs> or better, we are out of a job. I don't think right. <laughs> where where are the babies? 
You ate all of them. <laughs> I don't even know. I was going right. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna mount you. I don't know why. Jesus Christ! Get on my back! Ride me like a horse, and then we'll all be able to have. I don't know. <laughs> Now these three fine gentlemen want to sell you something that you need with a problem that you all have. Now, what is the problem that their product solves? Hunger. Well, never again will you have to, thanks to us. Because we've got the hangover cure for you. It's called, uh, go away hangover. <laughs> think that I could only go to Sunday hangover brunch and feel better about myself. And then one day I was a giant. I found a spray. And oh. Again, it's a pineapple. It's really good, right? Everyone should do that. And now with our neat new applicator nozzle, it's way 40 times easier to get rid of a hangover. But wait! There's more! There's always more! That's right, if you act now, you'll get a second one. <laughs> and a hangover stopwatch. Now, you can make the hangover go away, but you can time just how long it takes. Don't believe me? Ask my friend Tim. <laughs> oh, God, it's so loud. I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Never have a hangover again, college students and real adults. <laughs> so call now! Call now. Call now. Lights now. everybody where Sebastian and I, we will be narrating a slideshow that we put together, but we don't know the title of the slideshow, so we need a title of a good slideshow. My trip to Baghdad. My first place. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, 
when searching for water, as uh, we did on our expedition, we came across a whole slew of things that weren't water. This is, for example, a man uh, eating out of his hand with some sort of uh, evil spirit monger on him and a very pensive philosophy. <laughs> Now, obviously, we did not find water in this picture. Now, let's see if we can find water in the next picture. Picture number two, please. Once again, this is not water. This is not water. Uh, while we were in the, the native jungle of the Amazon, we came across a, uh, a, a kind of argumentative but a passive-aggressive couple. Uh, one would just kind of demean and demoralize, and the other just kind of took it. It was very, very sad. Tears would run down their face. However, those tears, not completely water. Not entirely. <laughs> Next slide. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now, this takes a little bit of explanation. Boy, it does. Man. So, we were in the jungle. <laughs> so, obviously, this is my colleague and myself. We were getting a little bit playful in the jungle. <laughs> Time. It was a good goof and a good spoof. <laughs> I laid down on my back in the quicksand, and my good partner Bernard here, a colleague, colleague, colleague Bernard, not partner, no, no. <laughs> my colleague Bernard here, don't in after me. Bernard, we're on national television. Uh, my partner Bernard jumped on top of me. Uh, the resulting slide was, next slide please. <laughs> now, well, uh, oh. <laughs> this one's upside down. Yeah, know, this one's upside down. down. <laughs> Much better. So, <laughs> everyone, bear with us. We're almost to water. Almost to water. So, this isn't water. This isn't water yet. So, we were captured by the Amazonians. <laughs> were we ever? Man, uh, that, was, that was almost as good as this. The first thing they do is flip you upside down and dump all the change out of your pocket. <laughs> they really wanted that 75 cents of dime. They do. Uh, the Amazonians, as everybody knows, uh, love American currency. They can't use it. They're just avid collectors. <laughs> um, so uh, we, we gave them our change. Uh, they were very happy. And the next slide uh, was uh, a pretty fun a little game. Next slide. <laughs> All right, well, this is a clip of us partying with them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is, uh, this is our partying clip. There was lots of beer. There were lots, all kinds of beverages. Clothes are optional. That was fun. Clothes are optional. Let's see if we can play through this party scene right now. Bernard, please. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Bernard was dancing, and the Amazonians were doing the hula dance from Hawaii. And there were also old people there. And uh, the guy doing like a leopard. Kind of, kind of, He poured salt on me, and he poured pepper on Bernard. Next slide. All right, this is at least 99% water. Yeah, this is really close this to water. so close to water. It's, uh, it's a diorite, which is made up of a lot of water. Um, I, okay, you can tell the story. All right, well, after the party, they came up to me and was like, yo, Bernard, you want to try this fruit? And I was like, I don't want to try that fruit, but I ate it. Man, it was awesome. It, I was hallucinating. I thought I saw water, but I did. It, it was a low pound fruit. It had olestra in it, and as everybody knows, that gives you the runs. So Bernard Someone here. should have told me. Yeah. <laughs> Big goofball over here. Pooped all night. Next slide. <laughs> and now we come upon it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final short form game. And it involves some of my favorite seniors playing my favorite game that Shots in the Dark has in our repertoire. It's called Bucket of Death. What happens in buckets? What happens in Bucket of Death is. <laughs> always has to have their entire head submerged in a bucket of water while there's a scene going on around them. How 
interesting. At some point, they, as you can imagine, won't be able to breathe, so they'll need to be tapped out, and someone else will have to submerge their entire head in that same bucket. So what we need from you guys is a location that you want this scene to be happening in, on... Uh, you guys are on a cruise ship. Cruise ship? Cruise ship. <coughs> cruise ship, bucket of death, lights up. Would you like some towels, sir? Oh, towels? Whoa, I'm not even wet yet. Sure, I'll take them. Are they free? It's for spreading on the chair, and yes, they're free. Okay, good. I want to make sure all this stuff on this cruise is free, because I'm one of those cruise people. Good. <laughs> oh, wow, wonderful. This is a very nice towel. It's kind of... It's got those fluffy, fl it's terry cloth. Oh, it's a terry cloth towel. Wow, that sounds fancy for me. <laughs> okay, all right, let's leave. Okay. That was rude. Um, we fucking did the mustard drill. You said if you go overboard, there's people and they will help you. Okay, I'm sorry. I know, I know we said if you go overboard, there's people and they will help you. I am covered in... I'm assuming it's water. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely water. We're overboard on a cruise ship. We're in an ocean. The ocean's filled with water. It's water on the. I field. saw this documentary. It was very confusing. Oh, the one on Netflix? <laughs> That's not water. <laughs> oh, it's not water. <laughs> right, it's the okay. Okay. <laughs> This is the worst wet t shirt contest ever. <laughs> You see, I had towels. <laughs> and then what? But they're not quite wet. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the all-you-can-eat buffet is amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I have to try this yogurt. All right. <laughs> My God, it's so good. <laughs> have you been to the buffet? I got the dirt <laughs> sweat. <laughs> you got the dirt sweat. I got the I got the You got the buffet. At the buffet. I was just there. I got the yogurt. Wait, what is wrong with you? Oh, no. Yeah. 
Tour guide. <laughs> Tax collector. Probation officer. Okay. Okay, great. Um, I thought it was really cool, this is uh, like a physics lab, and I guess one of the sponsors is uh, this Prime, and their catch line is, we're primed for great things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, alright, so we're going to do World's Worst, you guys know how this goes. So we're going to start off with the World's Worst Masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. This is what you get when you order in the yellow pages. <laughs> Indian brush burns all over. Yeah. World's worst hand model. <laughs> No, it's just like this all the time. <laughs> World's worst Tupperware salesman. <laughs> I'm Ryan Lochte. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how much this Tupperware can hold by vomiting in. <laughs> For all your cannibalistic needs, it's good for fingers, it's good for ears, it's good for hair, it's good for all things. Just set it and forget it. <laughs> World's worst food critic. That one's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> shot at getting this one right. <laughs> All right, and lastly, the world's worst college professor. Oh. 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 She probably hit a dog again. Dumb. <laughs> now they expect it. <laughs> Shit! <laughs>